you guys. Today I'm going to show you what to do if your Face ID is not working on your iPhone or iPad. So have your phone or iPad on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So the reasons that your Face ID might, might not be working may vary depending on what's happened. Common reason would be a broken screen or something else that's in the way of the camera that is affecting the way it reads your face. But if there's nothing wrong with the camera or um, your screen protector or something that's blocking the camera, it's probably a software issue. A good way to tell that your Face ID isn't working is just to look for things like your iPhone or iPad asking you to enter your passcode instead of the Face ID. If your Face ID goes several times, it's going to automatically switch over to that passcode option. You may also start receiving error messages that just tell you that your Face ID isn't working or that it hasn't been disabled. So if that's the case, I'm going to show you guys what to do and how to get it to start working again. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your Face ID is enabled for any and every app that you have. And to do this, you're just going to simply go into your settings and go into your Face ID and passcode. It's going to ask you to enter your passcode. If you're finding this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. This helps the channel to grow and for us to reach a larger audience. Thanks so much and let's get back to the video. Here it's going to ask you at the top to use Face ID for phone unlock, iTunes and App Store, wallet and Apple Pay, password autofill, and other apps. So make sure that all of these on the right hand side are turned on. And then you can go into your other apps as well and make sure all of these are turned on as well. If your Face ID still isn't working after your you turn all of these on. The next thing you're going to want to look for is to make sure that there's nothing blocking your camera. So one really simple thing you can do is to just wipe your, your phone screen in front of your camera to make sure that it's not smudged or blurred or anything. As well as if you have a shattered phone protector, um, you're going to want to replace that because that could also be affecting the way your face ID is scanning and reading your features. Another thing you can do is go back into your face ID and passcode and you can set up the face ID with mask. This is just going to make it easier for your phone to recognize your face. It's basically just going to study and memorize the unique features of your face um, from your nose and above. So if you're wearing a mask or maybe your jacket's covering part of your face, basically this is just going to make the face ID more accurate if your full face isn't showing. So all you're going to do is simply turn that on so when you click on this, you don't actually have to wear a mask to set this up. Um, you're just going to click get started. I'm going to position my face and then move my head very slowly around the circle until it's completed. And now my face ID is set up. And if I'm wearing a mask, it's going to be able to still unlock my phone. Another thing that could be affecting your face ID is if you created your face ID with no makeup on or anything and you often go out with a full face of makeup to your job or to hang out with people, it may be difficult for your face ID to recognize your face. Something really helpful that I've done before is to set up an alternate appearance. So you can do your face of makeup or your sunglasses. This also is super helpful if you wear different um, pairs of glasses, like reading glasses or anything. And to turn this on, you're simply just going to click that setup on alternate appearance. And you're going to position your face in the camera and follow the same instructions. Alternatively, your face ID might not be working because of a true depth camera issue. And if that's the case, you may likely have to take it in to get repaired. Another thing you're going to want to make sure of is that you are holding your camera correctly to unlock your phone using face ID. So what a lot of people don't know is that there is a correct way to hold your phone. And if you're holding it incorrectly, it's probably going to have trouble opening your face ID. So the first thing you want to make sure of is that you're holding it vertically and that you're holding it at an arm's length, aka like 10 to 20 inches. Um, if you're holding it like this, it should work very easily. The last thing you're going to want to do is restart your phone and reset your face ID. So if none of the options that I've listed have worked, this will be the last thing you can try. And to restart your phone, you're just going to hold the power button on the side and the volume button as well. Press and hold those and the slide to power off will come up. You'll just slide to the right. Once that's done, you're going to go into your settings. You go into your face ID and passcode and then you're going to go down to reset face ID. You're going to click that 
and it's going to now uh, give you the option to set up your face ID once again. So click on that. And then to set up your face ID, you're just gonna do the same things that we did before. You'll hit get started. Alrighty, you guys, I hope that you found this helpful. I know that this was a lot of information, but hopefully one of these options worked for you. Maybe you can use this information or pass it on to somebody else who needs it. Thanks again, and I will see you guys in the next video.